Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello, welcome to my apartment tour video. I can like swing my lamp. See, I don't know how I'm ever going to change the light bulb in this because I'm way too terrified to like reach any further than this. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Welcome to my apartment in Tokyo, Japan. But I want to do this at a cooler location. So let's go there. My area is literally so cute. Got some little houses right by my apartment. It's so cute. Here's the gross part. This is, this is where we put all of our trash. It's like under the stairwell of my building. This, but literally look how beautiful this is. I feel so lucky. There's a little park next to my apartment. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's a little alleyway I walk through. Ugh, it's such a nice day out as well. This is amazing. I'm so glad I'm filming this today. Look at this tree. I don't know. I forgot what this fruit is called. But it's so pretty. There's a few of these trees in my neighborhood. I can't tell if this taxi wants to go by or is stopping because I'm here, but hello. Wait, should I do a little like walk moment? Pretend I'm walking. Luckily, there's no one coming. Oh no, I see someone on a bike. Luckily, my neighborhood is quiet, so I can do this. Hello. Okay, let's go. Welcome. Look at me and this girl. Okay, twin. Look at this. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of blinded. Hey, my name is Ryan. I live in Japan, Tokyo specifically. Right now, I'm at my neighborhood temple. Um, I've lived in Japan for like, what? I've lived in Japan since May of 2022. I can't do the math, but it's amazing. Look how beautiful this is. This is my neighborhood temple. This is my twin. Look at that. Crazy. And there's like a graveyard, which I'm not going to film because I don't know if that's appropriate. And I'm trying to be as like respectful as possible while filming this because temples and shrines in Japan are a very like, sacred thing and you have to be really careful about what you do with them. My friend and I have filmed a video here before for her project. Let me vibe really quick. It's crazy because there's literally never anyone here. Like, I feel like I always have this temple to myself. Like, I can come here at any hour, and there's, like, sometimes one person. And they everybody's minding their business. They're chilling. I came here, like, a month ago. Actually, probably over a month ago in that pencil pouch. And that fruit was still here. Or maybe it's, like, an offering. I don't know. Am I stupid? But today, the weather is, like, absolutely incredible. So I'm really happy that I'm filming this today. I'm just a whole vibe meal. Oh my god, this is amazing. It's actually beaming down on me. This place is beautiful. I think my life is too interesting to not exploit it. My skin. Okay, except for those blackheads. But but literally, I love coming here because there's never anyone here and I can just be a vibe. It's literally like a one minute walk from my apartment. I literally can't believe that I live here and that this is my life. But if you told me like a year ago that I'd be living here and this is what I'd be doing right now, I would scream because i wouldn't believe you but here i am this all happened very sporadically when it did happen and i love living in japan it's really amazing here i got my apartment in july i've been living there since i literally just got back to japan yesterday i don't know why i have so much energy because i was traveling for 24 hours three hour car ride two different planes a five hour layover finally made it here and then an hour car ride to my apartment got back last night woke up this morning i was like today's the day you're gonna you're gonna film this so okay there's a helicopter i think and a plane i wanted to film an apartment tour because i posted one on tiktok a while back and people really liked it and i wanted to do like an updated one but also make a youtube video because it's been a minute and my apartment's a lot different than it was the first time but yeah please enjoy let me know what you think about it in the comments or if you have like suggestions for anything i should do but yeah i'm gonna go back to my apartment and get this video done but let me film a little bit more oh there's a car pulling in here. welcome so as soon as you walk in you immediately have the genkan which is in japan this is where you always take off your shoes it's like a very strict thing in japan my genkan's kind of dirty 
my trash can is right here like you have to separate your trash so much in japan moving here i have like my little like exit enter situation and this is where my i like put my keys and stuff i also have this hook right here where i just put like masks and my bag so it's easy to get when i'm leaving and then i have my kettle that i never use and a little rose that I'm like, it's too sentimental to get rid of. Yeah, that's my entrance. And then this is my little like shoe cabinet situation. It's a bit of a mess. I also have like paper towels down there that I put. And then like my masks. And sometimes I put like mail there and stuff. But this window here actually gets so much light, especially during like golden hour. I wish it was on the other side of my apartment because this isn't the main side. But yeah, this is my view. Nothing crazy. One thing that I didn't love about this apartment is that all of the windows are glossed over or have like what's it called frost on them or something and i really really didn't want that when i was looking at apartments but the lighting was good enough so i was like okay i'll deal with it and then it also sometimes it's convenient because it adds like an extra layer of privacy and i think that's why they have them here moving on to the left of my entrance is my bathroom this is a very common japanese bathroom like with the door being like pushed to open like if you just like push it it's kind of loud and i do have an what are these called an all-in-one bathroom i forget what they're called in japan but like the combination bathroom which i'm used to it in america so it doesn't bother me but a lot of people in japan prefer to have like the separate toilet which would be nice because this bathroom is really small it came with this extremely ugly wallpaper i've thought about taking it down because babes i didn't put a security deposit down on this place so i'm not too worried about that and then also like this wallpaper too like it just doesn't make sense like japan is very random when it comes to wallpaper in apartments there's always some sort of accent wall somewhere here's me my little tripod i'm still working on a storage situation that's better than this because i hate all of my products like just being exposed it also gets annoying because it gets really cold in here because the heat doesn't really reach it it works for me i'm not too picky about the bathroom i only shower in here oh i almost fell this is how i fit into my shower like it's not bad i'm not like i'm like 5 11. it's not bad it's working yeah it works i mean it's small it is small but it definitely works and if it works then i'm okay with it next is my kitchen which is right behind me so originally this apartment just came with the mini fridge but my neighbor was randomly one day just throwing out this brand new fridge like still had the plastic on it and everything and i was like are you just getting rid of that and he was like yeah i was like can i have it he was like yeah I carried this myself up to my apartment and that was a really proud moment for me because I wanted a full size fridge, but I didn't want to pay for one. So I got this one for free and it's really nice. So now I have a mini fridge and a regular fridge. I can't really get rid of the mini fridge because it came with the apartment. So it just kind of chills there. Then I have my oven, which I know it looks like a microwave in Japan. Ovens look like microwaves. They don't like apartments most of the time do not come with ovens so i had to buy one because i'm used to using an oven to cook a lot of things and then like my rice cooker on top of it my little chopstick rest is really cute and then i have my one singular burner which is honestly fine i do not cook that much i need to start cooking more this is another wallpaper situation before this it was really really ugly barn door so i was like that's not gonna work and i went to the store and i bought this like contact paper to put over it i even cut it out like for the light switch it's not the most amazing job but i'm okay with it and then these ones i just didn't have enough contact paper to cover so and then my little tiny 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 sink cabinet here which i just have like i just have like food storage and stuff and like mugs cup literally everything goes in here and then getting to the fun part this is the actual like main part of the apartment to the right of the kitchen ignore the stains on that i just spilled coffee and it stained the cube so much and i have yet to buy new ones so you walk in this is what you see um here's this little this is a, a recent update is i bought this thing for my cat's litter box because i hated having it sitting out but now I kind of want to get rid of it because it's so big and I feel like it takes too much space in my apartment. But I have this little photo from Hiroshima that I got. It's so cute. I love cats. You'll be like, you can tell throughout this video. I love cats. Candle, my Nausicaa vinyl, and a little mixtape. And me and my friend Noel, my first friend in Japan. And then in here, I'm not going to show you, but this is my cat's litter box. And behind here is just my ugly wi-fi 
set up and my cat's food and water. And then to the right, we have my amazing mirror situation. I have like a, it's full body. It works. Sometimes I wish I could stand further away, but my couch is right behind me. So I have to stand like right here. I have some little things that I've collected over time. Hello. On my mirror. Pokemon card I just randomly found in my neighborhood because kids just leave them laying around. And then, I don't know, I forgot where I got this, but little business card thing. And then aquarium ticket. I have my clothing rack, which I really need because I have too many clothes. And yeah, I just put all like my sweaters and my jackets, my scarf, my hat, just things on here. And then like to the right is my balcony door, which we'll go out to in a minute. I have um, my Totoro poster. And then this is some more like Yasuo Ai stuff. You see there's Nana. Um, this little kitty is so cute. If we go out on my balcony, so now I'm on my balcony. It's kind of dirty because I tried cleaning it, but it's just like stained. I bought this little table. I regret it because I never, I've never sat here. Literally ever. I don't know why I bought this. I thought I was going to use it all the time. I was like, yes, little like breakfast moment with coffee. No, I never sit there. And then here's like my drying pole. And then I have my washing machine, which is currently so annoying because it's winter. So it's really cold when you dry your clothes. So it takes way longer. And then that's where I hang my clothes. And that stuff just chills out here. And yeah, that's my balcony. This is the view. See, I got some good sun. But yeah, that's my balcony. Going back inside. To the right, I have this little storage cube situation. I keep all my books and my manga down here. My little Nana shrine that I have going on here. I used to have a lot more stuff. But I limited it because it was getting annoying. I don't really put anything on here. I get ready right here. Like I put my iPad up as like a mirror. I need like an actual mirror to put here because fun fact, my apartment has no outlets in the bathroom. I forgot to mention that, which is I didn't notice until I moved in here, which I think is actually pretty normal in Japan. But I miss having an outlet in my bathroom so bad. And yeah, there's my air con. And then to the right, I feel like I keep saying to the right about everything, but I guess I'm just going in that direction. I have my TV and this little like bay window situation right here. Oh, you can see my feet. Hello. Bay window situation. I really love it. When I first moved here, I was like, there's no way I'm putting a TV there. It's way too cute. Then I put a TV there. And then I have a little Miffy hanging up right here. So cute. Oh, also forgot to mention my cat got up here and just scratched the hell out of my wall, which was literally amazing. Yeah. And then here's the ladder to my loft, my little couch setup I have here. I've rearranged this apartment probably a hundred times. I think this is the best sort of layout I can get to. I, it's just too small to like put anything anywhere else, especially since I added the cat thing. I have my desk, which let me talk about this desk for a minute. I found this apartment and I measured this desk and I measured the apartment and I was like 100% yes, I am a genius because... This desk fits perfectly. It lines up with my closet and just almost hits the ladder. And then I have storage and separation between like the my little like computer setup and my living room. And it's great. I really like it. The chair is kind of like ginormous, but I got it for free because once again, it was outside. Someone was just throwing it away on a day when I was looking on Amazon for new chairs because I hated mine. I walk outside and I found this and I was like, okay, it's fate. So I literally just took it. It's really big and not the cutest. So maybe changing that eventually, but for now it's good. My computer, I get so many questions about this. Like, so many questions about this. Rightfully so. But I did not build this. I bought it on Craigslist in Japan because shipping my computer from America was $800. So I was like, might as well just get a new computer. And I hate... I want to change the cooling liquid to just, like, clear. But I literally don't even know how to do that. I just turn the shit on and play games. I don't... I don't know. But yeah, this is my little desk. Very simple. Um, under here, I have my hamper where I keep put my dirty clothes and my suitcases and just like storage and stuff for my cat, my computer parts. It's a really nice like little hidden spot. And then I have my closet. These curtains are to be updated. I do not like them. They don't even like cover the whole thing. So here's the thing about this apartment. I 
saw how big the loft was and I that was my immediate yes I toured a few lofts and this one was so big and I love the way the ceiling curves I love the light that comes with the apartment creates like a shadow at night and then there's also a window up there so yeah and there's even like outlets up here it's so nice we're just gonna ignore that my bed is not made and there's also just socks laying on the ground it is kind of scary a lot of people are like how do you do that i was kind of scared about it too but obviously i never fall off when my bed is all the way over here and i have this little couch here which was originally downstairs until i got a new couch and like my fan little storage thing that literally has nothing in it this box is a nightstand that i never built because i don't need it to be honest i thought i would come up here way more than i do but i literally never do the only thing i come up here for is to sleep it's just annoying sometimes to like have to go down the ladder when you want something let me show you what it looks like when i'm standing up here because my head is hitting the ceiling so this is what it looks like when i'm standing up here i'm literally right on the edge so i'm kind of scared yeah i'm literally like bending my head because it, i mean it's tall like way taller than other apartments that i've seen in japan yeah i don't really be standing up here so there's really no reason for it to be any taller or for me to complain about it so that's my loft situation um i really like it because it creates separation between the living room and like where you're sleeping because a lot of apartments in japan are like the living space is right next to the bed and i hate that i really really didn't want that because i knew it would make me like so depressed because i need to be in like different rooms when i'm sleeping i guess i don't know but i just i knew that was like a must have for me but yeah you can kind of see like a uh, get a little like depth perception of what my apartment is like i'm trying to like convey that the best i can because it's kind of hard when you're filming to like show what your apartment's like i'm just gonna film a little part i'm like out of breath from doing this going down the ladder so you can kind of see how I do it. I do it pretty fast. Like I just go down to like the third step and then jump onto the couch. It is kind of scary, but I've gotten used to it. And I'm really scared that one of the wooden, like my ladder's wood. And I feel like it's gonna like break one day while I'm on it. And then I just fall. It's really scary. But, and then I have a blanket here. So it kind of makes it slippery, but that's how I get down. And yeah, let me like, what can I do? Oh, wait, you can't see me if I do that. Hello. I'm like trying so hard to give like, what's it called? Not depth perception, but like a uh, feel for what the size of my apartment is. So that was my apartment tour in Tokyo, Japan. I pay 65,000 yen per month, which comes out to about like the exchange rates always changing. Used to be a little bit less, but now it comes out to, I know it's less than $500, probably like 490 right now or something like that, which is so cheap. I live like one stop or two stops on local from Shibuya. Like I live so close to Shibuya. I'm in central Tokyo and my apartment is less than $500. Yeah, I don't think I'll live in a cheaper apartment in my entire life ever again, but, and I have a contract here for two years. And I've lived here for six months now, I think. But yeah, I've lived here since the beginning of June or July. I don't remember. Every day I'm so thankful for how much this apartment costs and like what I got for my money. Also, I didn't pay key money, which in Japan you have to pay this thing called gift money, where like you literally just give them a gift for letting you live there. It's so stupid. And I didn't have to pay that. I didn't have to pay deposit and I didn't have to pay first month's rent. So I literally just paid second month's rent to live here and I've been paying rent since and it's actually insane because I feel like I got the deal of a lifetime. And also I'm actually allowed to live here as a foreigner, which in Japan, it's like almost impossible to get an apartment as a foreigner. Not almost impossible, but there's a lot of lengthy processes that you have to do. And also a lot of landlords don't want people who don't speak Japanese at their apartments and they just don't want foreigners living there but luckily this apartment allowed foreigners i feel like the luckiest person on earth when i think about the fact that i live here if you told me a year ago today that i would live in this apartment in japan i would laugh in your face like i had no idea that my life would turn out this way and I can't believe like every day I'm just like, what am I doing? Like, <laughs> like actually, what am I doing? Because I don't understand my life. Oh, I need some chapstick. If you liked my apartment or if you hated it, leave a like and comment. I also love um, when people comment. Tell me your thoughts about my apartment. If you have any suggestions. That would also be great. I'd love to hear your suggestions about like what I should do with like furniture or if I should also tell me if you think I should take down the wallpaper in my apartment, even though 
I'm technically not allowed to do that. And please subscribe. My Instagram is at Ryan G. Krause, C-R-O-U-S-E. And yeah, if you have any other questions, also just leave them down below and I will be happy to answer them. Say bye, Dote. Bye bye. His eyes are crazy. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you made it this far and more to come. Thank you. Bye.